why use a more open ecosystem? I'm Sony Artist of Imagery, Tony Gale, and today I'm gonna to go over my workflow from capture to computer to client delivery with both my Xperia 5 Mark II and my Sony Alpha cameras, and how the open system on both the phone and the computer make things easier and more customizable for me. On a lot of my projects, we need behind the scenes photos. Maybe it's so I can duplicate a setup in the future. Maybe it's because the client wants social media pictures or pictures for the front of the magazine, other things like that. The Xperia is a great tool for that. It's always in my pocket. And with the Photo Pro app, I can set the white balance. I can capture in RAW. It's got a lot of the same settings my Sony Alpha cameras have. So it's a great combination. Once the project is over, we've got to get the pictures from the camera to the computer. To get the pictures from the phone to the computer, I prefer FTP. It's quick, it's wireless, it's easy to do. I use an app called FTP Tool, but the Android system has a ton of options. That's part of why it's great. All you have to do is make sure you're on the same network, start up the app on your phone, type in the FTP address from the app in a finder window, go to the DCIM folder, then the Photography Pro folder, select the files you want to copy, and drag and drop where you want them. Simple as that. You can, of course, use a cable or pop out the micro SD card and plug it into your computer. Whatever works best for you, those options are why it's great. When I'm shooting video with the Xperia 5 Mark II, I'll sometimes use Google Drive to transfer the files. It's easy and already on the phone. I pick the files I want to transfer, select Move to Google Drive and put them in the video files folder I've already created. It then uploads to my Google Drive account. Then I can access them from any computer. When I need the footage, I select the files, right click, pick download and it creates a zip file and downloads automatically. For the photos from the camera, I use a Sony card reader. I take a lot of photos, sometimes two, three, four, even five cards. It's a lot of information and the easiest way to do it is with a card reader. When I'm on location, I download to my Lenovo Legion laptop. I use a PC laptop because I'm able to get exactly what I need and they're customizable. Mine has a ton of USB ports. It's got HDMI, so I can run a cable to a monitor. And because it's customizable, I've doubled the RAM and added a second SSD. If it can wait until I'm back in my office, I have a custom PC I built myself. Being able to select the components, video card I want, hard drive I want, the RAM I want, the case I want, anything I need, I can put in there. Anything I need to replace, super easy. Just swap out the old piece, put in the new piece, new video card, new RAM, more hard drives. Anything I need, I can make it happen. Once everything's on the computer, first I rename the files. I use the date as the file name structure to keep things organized so that it doesn't duplicate in the future. Then I copy the folder to an external drive to back the files up. Always back up. Do a quick white balance in either Lightroom or Capture One. It just depends on the project. In Lightroom, go to the Develop panel. I click on the eyedropper. Select the gray patch on the x right Color Checker Passport, then sync the photos. In Capture One, basically the same. Select the eyedropper, pick the gray patch, then sync the files. Then I process out the low-res JPEGs. I could, of course, do RAW plus JPEG on both the phone and the camera, but I prefer the control of doing it myself. In Lightroom, just select Export and pick the settings and location you want the file saved to. If we're doing video, I'll upload via WeTransfer or send a drive. With video, there's so much more information and data. Sometimes it's just not practical to upload all that. Once the client's made their selects, I process out the high res. Upload them back to my Photo Shelter account so that they can download them. And then it's on to the next project. That might be the next client calling now. This is Tony.